Introduction to Xiao Yan, the Demon Emperor of Dou Pe Tsangcheong. Xiao Yan, the demon fury saint who became a powerful and lonely individual due to the betrayal and separation of the masses, passed through the door of time while exploring the secrets of duty. He, who was originally on the blackening line, was reborn into the normal fighting continent and experienced an extraordinary life destined for him. 1. Demon Wrath Saint You are listening at NovelFull.audio The Falling Mountains are an extremely remote but bustling place on Duki continent. Although it is also located in Zhongzhou, it is close to the edge of Zhongzhou. In layman's terms, this location is equivalent to the corners of Zhongzhou. Normally, few people would come to this area except for some Warcraft tribes who originally lived nearby. However, the Fallen Mountains are obviously an extremely special place because there have been several earthly wars here, and it is said that many Doshin powerhouses have fallen here. The name of the Fallen Mountains is also derived from this. It is precisely because of this unknown legend that many people who were originally located in other regions also came here in search of the treasures left by the Dosheng, in an attempt to ascend to heaven. Of course, they all returned in vain. However, this has not reduced the enthusiasm of treasure hunters in the slightest. They will only be wishful thinking that something left by the Dosheng has not been discovered, rather than thinking that there is no so dot called treasure at all. At this moment, on the passage leading to the mountaintop, a young man in a black robe was walking slowly on the road. His appearance was relatively beautiful, but the cold expression in his eyes made many women who wanted to approach him because of his appearance hesitate. What's even more eerie is that although his steps may seem slow, every step he takes steals a distance of thousands of meters. However, not a single person in the entire mountain range is aware of this. Occasionally, a few passers-by will suddenly notice that the black-robed young man who was originally by his side has unconsciously faded out of sight. That's it. The young man in black looked at the most dangerous peak in the entire mountain range and leaped to the top. This is the center of the Fallen Mountains, called the Peak of the Fallen Mountains. Due to its steep terrain and terrifying altitude of tens of thousands of Zhang, very few people came here. Compared to the steep mountain terrain, the summit of the Fallen Peak is extremely smooth. From a distance, it looks like a huge mirror spanning the most important part of the entire mountain range. The sunlight shines down from the sky, but is reflected straight up to the sky by that mirror. That's why it forms the wonder of a beam of light soaring into the sky. It seems that this trip was not in vain. The young man in black felt the waves coming from the pillar of light, and a rare hint of fanaticism was revealed in Gu Jing Wubwa's black eyes. In that pillar of light, he felt an extremely pure energy. Although that energy was extremely faint, if he could fully absorb it, then he could step into that legendary realm. The young man in the black robe stared at the white pillar of light, but did not rush into it rashly. He lifted his head and looked at the space in front of him, saying faintly, Since you have come, why don't you show up? What kind of hero is he? He he. Truly a demon anger saint who causes headaches for all seven tribes, this perception is really sensitive. Accompanied by a burst of laughter, a spatial vortex quickly formed just a kilometer away from the black-robed youth. Then, a slightly thin figure slowly emerged from the spatial vortex. Walking out of the space passage, there was actually a woman dressed in a white dress with an extremely beautiful appearance. Although she had a smile on her face, the fierce and murderous aura emanating from her body made people feel like they were facing an endless sea of blood. She looked at the young man in a black robe with a calm face and smiled, saying, Long time no see, Xiao Yen. If it's just about reminiscing about the past, I don't think you need to come all the way, do you? Soul Dyer. Oh, it would be more appropriate to call you the Soul Clan chief now. Xiao Yen was not moved by the white-clad woman's goodwill. He knew the terrifying aspect of this guy, who had dealt with him many times before. Although she appeared gentle and charming on the surface, the person who fell into her hands could probably fill the entire Fallen Mountain range. Of course, compared to herself, her performance in this battle can only be considered insignificant, after all, 
no matter how ruthless she is, she always has her own bottom line, and the person in front of her has long been unrecognized. What am I doing? Don't you know? Soul Dyer smiled, you're not the only one in this world who's staring at that thing. Tisk, it's really troublesome. Xiao Yan shook his head, his palm slightly opened, and a pink flame ignited in his palm. Since you inherited the position of Soul Clan leader, we haven't had a fight for a long time. I'd like to see how different you are compared to the Soul Heavenly Emperor. In fact, if you had agreed to hand over the Tuasha Ancient Emperor Jade in your hand, we wouldn't have caused this situation now. Looking at the flame in Xiao Yan's palm, Soul Dyer's eyes also showed a hint of fear. For this pure lotus demon fire, which ranked third on the strange fire list, even if it was her fighting Saint Peak, she dared not underestimate it. Ah, uh, I told you a hundred years ago that piece of Tuasha ancient Emperor Jade has already been destroyed by me. Xiao Yan shook his head and said, I can't get anything. Don't expect to get it either. So why don't you just take a pat and scatter it? A hundred years ago, I also told you that as long as you are willing to cooperate with us, you will always be a guest of our soul clan, and after I break through the duty, I will also help you step into that realm. This sentence still holds true today. Soul Dyer looked directly at the man who had caused her countless troubles and once again threw an olive branch. No need, the feeling of being betrayed is enough to be tasted once. Xiao Yin sneered, call out all the helpers in your clan. Going to the meeting alone is not your character. You really know me. Soul Dyer shook her head helplessly. Then, layers of black mist emerged from the entire sky at the top of the fall. In just a few breaths, the black mist spread tens of thousands of miles away, enveloping the entire top of the fall. Seeing this scene, Xiao Yan furrowed his brow slightly. He looked up and saw a surge of black mist. Then, four pitch black doors swept out of the mist, occupying four directions of the sky. The breath of death spread out from it, sealing off thousands of miles of space around Xiao Yan. And the figures sitting on those four giant gates each had a powerful aura no less than that of the eight star Do Saints, but Xiao Yan could sense that the aura of these four eight star Do Saints was somewhat strange and different from that of ordinary people. The gate of death and silence, I never thought you could even unleash this kind of thing. Xiao Yan looked at the death and silence aura permeating his body, but there was no fluctuation in his eyes. With the unique purification power of the pure lotus demon fire, this level of death and silence aura could not harm him at all. However, despite this, the death realm constructed by the four death and silence gates should not be underestimated, especially when the main formation is still composed of four eight-star Do Saints. Hee <laughs> hee, when dealing with the second Xiao Xian, our clan will naturally not take it lightly as before, said an old man from the death silence gate with a dry laugh. I remember you, you call yourself Sol Yuan Tian, right? You were killed by the ancestor Xiao Xian back then, and I never thought you had a chance to see the sun again. It seems that your soul clan has really helped a lot. Xiao Yan chuckled lightly, and a pink flame ignited in his dark eyes. However, do you think you are the only ones who have hidden a hand? I also have one. Come out, refine the heavenly ancient formation. Xiao Yan gently raised his palm, and in the next moment, two massive flame light arrays, which were tens of thousands of Zhang Long, suddenly appeared. When they appeared, the pink flames also spread out, burning all the black smoke in the sky. When those two flame light arrays appeared, even Soul Dyer's eyes showed a look of fear. This is the heaven refining ancient array of the pure lotus demon saint. Damn it! You even inherited this move. It's just a stroke of luck. However, I really want to see if your death realm is stronger, or if my heaven refining ancient formation is better. Xiao Yan said calmly, as his words fell, the two flame light arrays also shrouded towards the four death silence gates. Faced with this terrifying attack, the other eight star Do Saints dared not neglect and quickly operated the Death Realm to resist the erosion of the Heaven Refining Ancient Formation. Now, no one is bothering us. 
Xiao Yan looked up at the heaven-refining ancient formation that was fighting against the death realm, his expression indifferent. Although the power of this heaven-refining ancient formation would be greatly reduced without his personal control, it was more than enough to drag those guys down. What other means are there? Let's use them all together. Xiao Yan slowly extended his palm and saw a brilliant flame quickly converging on his palm. Finally, it condensed into a brilliant fire lotus quietly suspended in his hand. Do you really think I'm afraid of your fire lotus? Soul Dyer stepped on her foot, and the vast and infinite energy condensed into a tidal wave that was tens of thousands of Zhang Hai, roaring toward Xiao Yan. The space where the tidal wave passed through was shattered everywhere. If she were caught up in it, even the strong ones at the eight-star Do Saint level would be hard to escape. Faced with the tide of heaven and earth that was enough to make the powerful eight-star Do Saints extremely frightened, Xiao Yan's face remained calm. With a gentle flick of his palm, the fire lotus in his palm flew out. The fiery lotus was just too small to be compared to the tens of thousands of Zhang Hai energy tide. However, when it came into contact with that energy tide, the originally astonishing volume of heaven and earth energy was burned clean in just a few breaths. Upon seeing this scene, Sol Dyer's pupils also shrank slightly. Seeing the fire lotus rushing towards this place with an unstoppable momentum after burning the tides of heaven and earth, she immediately bit her fingertips and drew a strange rune in the void. Then, a blood-colored magic talisman condensed in front of her and collided fiercely with the fire lotus in the void. At the moment of collision between the two, the entire world seemed to fall into a brief silence. The next moment, a wave of energy quietly spread out. The wave seemed to have no momentum, but it turned tens of thousands of miles of space into nothingness. Even the entire fallen mountain range below was completely melted away under this terrifying collision. Is it the blood soul magic charm of the soul clan? No wonder it can withstand the destruction of the fire lotus. Seeing that the attack of the fire lotus was blocked, Xiao Yan was also somewhat surprised. Just as he was preparing to gather a new attack, the white pillar of light that seemed to connect heaven and earth suddenly shone brightly in the sky. This is. This sudden change stunned Xiao Yan and Sol Dyer for a moment. In the next moment, the beam of light suddenly spread out, and its speed was so fast that even the two Doshing Peak experts could not react and were enveloped by it. Damn! What is this? Xiao Yan and Sol Dyer were both struggling with all their might, but the energy filled in this pillar of light far surpassed them. Even if they tried their best, they could not escape the range of this pillar of light. Moreover, what was even more strange was that with the sole power of their imperial realm, they felt their consciousness gradually becoming dull under this pillar of light. By the time Xiao Yan's consciousness regained its clarity, there was no longer a vast expanse in front of him. What appeared in front of him was an ancient and magnificent hull. Subconsciously, Xiao Yan looked around, only to find that Sol Dyer, who was supposed to be swept in with him, had disappeared without a trace. It seems that there is no other choice but to move forward, Xiao Yan took a deep breath and quickly swept forward along the path of the palace. He was not an indecisive person himself, and even the aura filled with the palace made him feel a little palpitated. It was only the legendary Do Emperor who could do it this palace may allow him to break through the long dot awaited realm, but it may also make him irreparable. Just as Xiao Yan was flying rapidly, a black light rushed towards him in this direction. Xiao Yan was startled and immediately activated a strange fire, forming a protective cover on the surface of his body. However, just as he was preparing for defense, the light suddenly stopped and floated quietly in front of Xiao Yan. This is. Xiao Yan was also surprised by the appearance of the black light, because the flame hovering in front of him was also a flame, and from the smell it emitted, it was no less than some strange flames. However, there are also several black flames on the list of abnormal flames, but he has seen all those flames, obviously not any of them. Is it difficult to say that this thing is the number one abnormal fire? Xiao Yan suddenly had a ridiculous idea in his heart, but he quickly denied it. 
Although he had never seen the number one abnormal fire, and there was no record of it in any ancient books, for some reason, Xiao Yan felt that this thing should look even more brilliant, not this kind of appearance. Perhaps it's some kind of undiscovered abnormal fire, right? Xiao Yan speculated. The abnormal fire list is indeed authoritative, but some people believe that there are far more than 23 types of abnormal fires in the world. Perhaps there are other types of abnormal fires that have not been discovered yet. However, since this palace is related to Emperor Do, the power of this flame is probably not inferior. Just as Xiao Yan was speculating about the origin of this strange flame, the originally motionless flame suddenly took action again. What shocked Xiao Yan even more was that the defense set up by Dou Xing Peak had no effect on the black flame, and in the end, it directly swept into his body. Xiao Yan cursed inwardly and quickly used his soul power to frantically scan his body. However, no matter how he scanned, he could never find where the black flame was hiding at the moment when black flames swept into Xiao Yan's body, the space in front of him suddenly twisted. Then, a white spatial vortex suddenly appeared in front of Xiao Yan. Seeing that spatial vortex, Xiao Yan was also stunned for a moment, because he seemed to hear a sound echoing in his ear. Through this gate, you will see your most cherished possessions. The most precious thing. For a moment, Xiao Yan was also a bit confused in his heart. He had no relatives or family in his life, so what could be considered the most precious thing? Is it a strange fire? By a stroke of fate, Xiao Yan stepped forward and stepped into the door of the space. At the moment of entering the door of space, Xiao Yan felt that his strength was rapidly dissipating, whether it was fighting spirit or soul power, they were gradually dissipating. Even the strange fire that had accompanied him for a long time quietly disappeared into Xiao Yan's body, and his body was rapidly shrinking. Finally, a strong white light suddenly appeared in front of Xiao Yan. Under the illumination of that light, Xiao Yan instinctively closed his eyes. Then, a surprised voice rang in his ear, Madam. She gave birth. It's a boy. Two, sooner. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Wutan City, Xiao Family. As soon as the sky started to brighten, a thin and small figure had already stood up. He sat down on the mountaintop and looked at the distant scenery, with a rare hint of confusion in his calm eyes. It's been four years. It has been a full four years since he passed through the door of space. At first, he thought he was reborn, but later found that although he was also from the same continent of fighting spirit, his characters and personalities were completely different. In his past life, his father only used himself as a tool and even attempted to sacrifice the entire clan in order to prolong his life. The two older brothers in his past life, jealous of his talent, once tried every means to put him to death. Even the young girls who grew up with him and had mutual feelings for him would choose to abandon him for their own interests. In his past life, he was in a state of scheming almost every day, without trustworthy relatives or friends to confide in. It was precisely because of this that he developed that solitary personality. But this life is different. Although it was only four years, Xiao Yan experienced family affection and warmth that he had never experienced in his previous life. Whether it was his father or his two brothers, they all showed him meticulous care. Xiao Yan really likes the current atmosphere, but unfortunately, his mother passed away shortly after giving birth to him. Although Xiao Yan had countless ways to save his mother in his past life, he is just a child now and has no ability to change this situation. In the end, my strength is not enough. I need stronger strength, the power to change fate and dominate everything. Xiao Yan touched the black ring left by his mother and whispered in his heart. If he were still the demon wrath saint now, he wouldn't be helpless watching his mother pass away. In his past life, he began practicing qi at the age of four. He was an eleven-year-old fighter, a fourteen-year-old fighter, and reached the level of a great fighter before the age of seventeen, making him the first person in the Gamma Empire. And these were only the cases where he practiced the Huangjia technique. Later, he changed to the Xuanjia technique, 
and his cultivation speed improved by leaps and bounds. At the age of 20, he officially entered the realm of Douan. This kind of speed, even in Zhongzhou, is enough to be considered a genius-level figure, after all, he only used Xuanjie martial arts. Later, by chance, he arrived in Zhongzhou and gradually rose to become a world-renowned demon anger saint. In this life, Xiao Yan started practicing Dou Qi at the age of three. If his meridians were not too fragile before the age of three and he couldn't use Dou Qi, he might have started practicing officially as soon as he was born. After a year of cultivation, Xiao Yan has now reached the cultivation level of the three Dan Dou Qi. At this speed, he can officially break through to the Dou realm before the age of ten. Of course, he still understood the truth about Mu Xiao and Lin, so Xiao Yan has always claimed to be new to Dou Qi and has not excessively exposed his talent. Apart from the cultivation of Dou Qi, Xiao Yan did not let go of his cultivation of soul power. Although his soul power at the level of Emperor Realm in his previous life had dissipated long ago when passing through the gate of time and space, he was still stronger than ordinary people. During the three years when he was unable to cultivate Dou Qi, Xiao Yan tried every means to enhance his soul power. In fact, Xiao Yan also has a specialized soul cultivation method, but that kind of cultivation method requires at least the level of a seventh grade alchemist to be qualified for cultivation. Otherwise, it is easy to get into trouble. Therefore, Xiao Yan racked his brains and finally dug out an incomplete unnamed mnemonic from his past life memories. Soul Extreme Guarding the Heavenly Spirit Collecting Spirit and Forging Soul This mnemonic was obtained by him unintentionally. Although it is incomplete, it can also be used to absorb spiritual energy. However, its efficiency is undoubtedly countless times slower than the true soul cultivation method, but it is just right for Xiao Yan, who is still too weak today. However, for some reason, he always felt that the spiritual energy he could absorb was much less than when he practiced in his previous life. Despite his hard work, he could only attribute it to the problem of power gap. Strange, why is the Xiao family so lively today? After finishing his usual soul cultivation, Xiao Yan found that the Xiao family seemed particularly lively today. He vaguely remembered that in his previous life when he was four years old, he had the same thing before. Can it be said that? In this life, that guy also came. Thinking of the guy who had been entangled with him for most of his life, Xiao Yan also had some inexplicable emotions in his heart. After being entangled for a while, he finally got up and returned to the Xiao family. Not long after he had just returned to the Xiao family, he learned that the reason why the Xiao family was so lively was because there was a distinguished guest approaching. The distinguished guest is at the door. It should be her. After hesitating for a while, Xiao Yan finally walked towards the position in the hall. If it was really that guy, he would take the initiative and kill her before she even developed. The hall of the Xiao family itself is quite spacious, but today it is particularly crowded. It seems that many people have learned about the arrival of a distinguished guest, so they have all come over to watch the excitement. Fortunately, Xiao Yan is still relatively small, so he easily squeezed in. Sitting at the top of the hall are his father Xiao Zhan and several elders in the clan. However, the elders, who used to have extremely solemn expressions no matter what happened, now had smiles on their faces. The reason for this was that the two guests sitting next to them were actually a little girl of the same age as Xiao Yan, who looked quite cute. However, their expressions were very cold, forming a sharp contrast with the friendly old man beside them. Xiao Yan's gaze paused for a moment on the girl's pink and jade carved cheeks, then quickly moved away. He could see that the girl's identity was also extremely extraordinary, but it was not the one he was looking for. Since that was the case, he didn't need to stay here anymore. But just as he was about to leave, Xiao Zhan stopped him. Helpless, Xiao Yan could only turn back and say, Father, what's up? Yenner, this is Suner's younger sister. She will be staying at our Xiao family for a period of time. You are of the same age, so take care of them when you come back. 
Xiao Zhan patted the little son's hair and smiled, saying that he knew Sunar's background was so scary and selfish. That's why he said this. If Sunar could take care of this friendship after leaving the Xiao family in the future, Xiao Yan's future path would be much easier. Oh, Xiao Yan nodded casually. Sunar. This name is quite similar to that bad woman. As for taking care of her, it's better to avoid it. That kind of thing can be experienced once. Unlike Xiao Yan's perfunctory attitude, Sun Er, who originally had an indifferent expression, also showed a curious expression in her eyes after seeing Xiao Yan. Although she was still young, she had an extraordinary personality. Since her birth, everyone she met, except for her father, had a certain purpose, either to please her or to hope for something. Only this Xiao Yan, from beginning to end, looked at her with extremely cold eyes, and even completely ignored her. This made this ancient clan daughter curious about this young master who was slightly older than herself. Of course, it's just curiosity. 3.5 years. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Unconsciously, five years passed in a blink of an eye. In these five years, nothing major happened and he lived an ordinary life. The only thing worth praising is that Xiao Yan has been practicing hard throughout these five years, making his strength reach the level of nine Dan Do Qi, and he is only one step away from the Do. If he had a Juki powder on hand, he could directly break through the Do Do now. However, Yudin City can only be considered a niche area in the Gama Empire, and Juki powder is already a scarce commodity here. Even if it does, the price is outrageous for the current Xiao family, and it is impossible for it to fall into Xiao Yan's hands. Therefore, he can only choose to practice honestly and wait for time to break through. On the back mountain of the Xiao family, a small figure was sitting on the mountaintop. In the surrounding world, a faint white energy continuously poured into Xiao Yan's body. Although the amount of energy exceeded the capacity of the Do Qi stage, it was perfectly controlled by Xiao Yan. When the amount of Do Zhi Qi exceeded the control, Xiao Yan, who had been allowing Do Zhi Qi to absorb, also formed a handprint. Suddenly, the Do Zhi Qi that rushed into his body quickly gathered towards his lower abdomen, and finally, under the constant compression of his soul power, a white Do Zhi cyclone formed. Finally breaking through the fighter. Xiao Yan felt the stronger breath in his body than before, and slowly opened his eyes. In his past life, at the age of eleven, he had already been hailed as a rare genius in the Gamma Empire's century. In this life, he completed this progress two years ahead of schedule and broke through to the realm of a fighter at the age of nine. If this progress were to be spread, it would probably surprise many people's chins. However, for Xiao Yan, this speed is just average. Take some time to consolidate his foundation. After all, the cultivation of Dou Qi is actually equivalent to the foundation building stage of a fighter. Perhaps it has not been reflected yet, but in the future cultivation process, this solid foundation will definitely make Xiao Yan more relaxed. Moreover, he also set aside some time to cultivate his soul power. Although the effect of the incomplete mnemonic was not as significant as imagined, Xiao Yan's soul power still improved significantly in the past five years. According to his estimation, in terms of soul power alone, he is now comparable to a fourth grade alchemist. Since we have broken through the dough, it's time to leave the Xiao family, Xiao Yan stood up and looked down at the city of Wutan below, calmly speaking. Xiao Yan has long made detailed plans for his future and has been preparing for it. His room contains many survival equipment in the wilderness, which will accompany him to leave the Xiao family. If he continued to shrink back in the city of Yutan, perhaps with the aura of genius, he could still make a living. However, that kind of life with unlimited scenery was not what Xiao Yan wanted. His past life experiences had already made him accustomed to honing in life and death. Although he had not fought for nine years, he still remembered that feeling. Moreover, there were many people in the Xiao family who made him feel quite annoyed. On the surface, they were friendly, but in his heart, he always wanted to stab him. If it weren't for his father and brother treating him well, 
he would have killed these guys long ago. How could he have stayed here and played tricks on them? Brother Xiao Yen Just as Xiao Yen was preparing to return home, a petite figure suddenly came from the foot of the mountain. Seeing that figure, Xiao Yen sighed helplessly, knowing that he had never been a good person before the little girl who followed up was Sun Er, who came to the Xiao family five years ago. Xiao Yen knew that her identity was extraordinary, but he didn't want to have too much relationship with this guy. However, Xiao Zhan demanded that he take good care of this sister. Helpless, Xiao Yen took this little girl with him a few times. However, this little girl's physical condition was really poor. One time when she went out to play, she actually suffered from heatstroke. At that time, Xiao Yan was just about to be present, so she used her fighting spirit to simply warm up her meridians. However, since then, unexpectedly, this little girl has been clinging to him, and her nickname for him has changed from Xiao Yan to Brother Xiao Yan. And this title precisely reminded Xiao Yan of very bad memories. In his memory, a bad woman also called her that at the beginning. Ha! Huh. After seeing Xiao Yan, Sun Er was slightly taken aback. She sensed the breath on Xiao Yan's body and exclaimed in surprise, Brother Xiao Yan, did you break through the fighter? Hmm. Xiao Yan nodded slightly, because he had just broken through, his own breath had not fully converged yet, and it was not surprising that his specific strength could be seen. Since Brother Xiao Yan has broken through the dough, you should also be able to practice martial arts, right? Sun Er smiled faintly and said, Brother Xiao Yan has a fire attribute, but I remember that in the Xiao family, the highest level of fire attribute martial arts seems to be only the yellow level advanced. Xiao Yan raised his eyebrows slightly. In his previous life, he had practiced the yellow level technique during the Dou stage. It was not until he broke through the great Dou master that he obtained a mysterious level technique by chance. This is also why he left Yudan City. The resources here are too scarce, and staying here will only slow down his cultivation speed. Although the advanced Huangjie technique is relatively good for the fighter, it is a bit low in terms of Brother Xiao Yan's talent. Sun Er's fingers behind her gently turned the ring, and then a red scroll appeared in her hand. I have a Xuanjie advanced technique here, which should be very suitable for Brother Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan looked at the scroll in Sun Er's hand and did not refuse. He actually had advanced techniques in his hand, but since someone wanted to give him something, he naturally had no reason to refuse. If this thing were to be auctioned off, the price could be raised to several hundred thousand or more, which actually solved the financial problem he lacked for going out for training. Seeing Xiao Yan accept the scroll of cultivation techniques, a smile appeared on Sun Er's pretty face. She knew very well that Wutan City, a poor and remote place, would only slow down Xiao Yan's cultivation speed. But with this cultivation method, Xiao Yan didn't need to consider changing cultivation methods before Dou Wan. As for after Dou Wan, she could also find a way to obtain higher dot level cultivation methods for Xiao Yan. If Xiao Yan knew what Sun Er was thinking in his heart, he would probably be very speechless. His majestic demon anger sage would not have fallen to relying on eating soft meals from girls for a living, although he didn't dislike this either. 4. Medication Aging You are listening at Novel Full Audio. After separating from Sunar, Xiao Yan went to find his father Xiao Zhan. Anyway, he was also his own father in this world. Apart from his two older brothers who had gone out to experience, he was the only relative in this world. Xiao Yan also worked hard to play their ideal son and younger brother. After learning that his son had broken through to the Dou, Xiao Zhan was initially overjoyed, but soon he learned from Xiao Yan that he was going out to experience. His expression changed from surprise to shock, what? You said you were leaving Yudan City. Hmm. Xiao Yan nodded and said calmly, I'm going out to practice for a while. But you? Xiao Zhan looked at Xiao Yan's tender little face and didn't know how to speak for a moment. Although Xiao Ding and Xiao Li had similar actions before, those brothers were already 16 years old, and they were walking together, 
so he agreed. But what about this little guy? Why do you think of going out to experience before even your hair grows? Father, you should know the situation of our Shao family, right? If my talent is exposed, staying here will only be more dangerous. Xiao Yan said slowly, only when I disappear from the city of Wutan and fade out of everyone's sight, will they completely forget about such a person. When I come back, it will definitely be the time when our Xiao family rises. You're only a few years old, do you think about all this? Seeing Xiao Yan's serious expression, Xiao Zhan couldn't help but laugh and cry. He didn't know whether to scold this guy for being imaginative or praise him for having lofty aspirations. However, Xiao Zhan also knew his son's temper. Once he made a decision, no matter who tried to dissuade him, it was useless. Moreover, the little guy's words had some truth, so he could only agree with him. He just reminded him to come and say goodbye before leaving. Ha! Huh. After obtaining his father's consent, Xiao Yan quietly breathed a sigh of relief. If Xiao Zhan didn't agree, he would have to choose to sneak away. When he returned, he would have to be scolded. However, fortunately, his father was relatively easy to communicate with, so there was only one last thing left to deal with. After returning to his room, Xiao Yan did not immediately start practicing as usual. After closing the windows and doors, he hung a sign saying, People are practicing, please do not disturb, before returning to his bed. The guy hiding in the ring, come out, Xiao Yan raised his palm and looked at the pitch black ring on his finger, calmly saying. As his soul power increased, Xiao Yan's perception became more sensitive. He gradually realized that the small improvement in his unnamed mnemonic was not due to his strength, but because every time he drew spiritual energy, a suction came from the ring, and most of the spiritual energy he drew was absorbed, which led to this situation. After discovering this problem, Xiao Yan also used some methods to explore and finally determined that there was a soul body hidden in this ring. Originally, Xiao Yan intended to throw away this dragging thing, but anyway, it was also a legacy left by his mother. That's why Xiao Yan wanted to have a good conversation with that guy. Little one, your perception is quite sensitive. Upon hearing that Xiao Yan had exposed his existence, a phantom figure floated out of the ring, which was a transparent old man with white hair. He looked at Xiao Yan, and his old eyes also showed a surprised expression. This guy's strength is quite strong. As the soul body scrutinized Xiao Yan, Xiao Yan also noticed the specific strength of the old man in front of him. He had originally thought that in a place like the Gama Empire where imperial battles were rare species, even if there were any soul bodies, their strength would not be much stronger. However, the aura emanating from this old man made Xiao Yan understand that his judgment was a bit wrong. Although Xiao Yan now only has the strength of a fighter, his soul power has reached the level of a fourth grade alchemist. However, in front of this old man, he still feels an extremely strong sense of oppression, which proves that his soul power at this time is at least above that of a fifth grade alchemist. Who are you? Why are you hiding in my ring? Xiao Yan stared at the old man in front of him and asked. Me. You can call me Yao Lao. As for my background, it's a long story. I'll tell you again when I have the chance. You just need to know that I have no ill intentions towards you. The old man fell to the ground, spread his hand, and said. It sounds good, but why should I believe you? Although the old man named Yao Lao expressed goodwill, Xiao Yan still did not relax his vigilance. Because in his past life, he also encountered a soul body. That guy had an excellent attitude towards him at the beginning, and he once regarded him as a family member. But at the most critical moment of his cultivation, the soul body of Yu Yu reading www.yuyukangshu.net actually wanted to take him away. If it weren't for his desperate resistance and a bit of luck, that guy might have actually succeeded. As the saying goes, once bitten by a snake, ten years afraid of a well rope, and now encountering a similar situation, Xiao Yan naturally wouldn't easily believe this old man. However, Yao Lao. If this medicine was the old man's surname, 
then this guy's identity would be extraordinary. Xiao Yan vaguely remembers that among the existing Dudi families, there is one Yao Lao. Is it possible that this old man belongs to the medicine family? You little guy, although you're not very old, you have a strong sense of vigilance. Yao Lao shook his head helplessly when he saw Xiao Yan's aggressive appearance. If I really want to do something to you, do I have to wait until now? Dot. Xiao Yan didn't answer, just furrowed his brow slightly. The old man's words made some sense. He only realized the existence of this soul body in half a year. If he really wanted to do something, he had plenty of time before that. But he didn't fully believe in Yao Lao's words either. Who knows what this old man was thinking. He saw many people who said and did things one by one. In fact, if it weren't for the huge difference in strength, he might have even destroyed this soul body by now. Sigh. Seeing Xiao Yan's disbelief, Yao Lao sighed again. He looked at Xiao Yan and looked at him for a while before saying, Do you want to become an alchemist? Alchemist. What do you mean? Can I become an alchemist? Xiao Yan hesitated for a moment before asking. He naturally knew how popular this profession was in the Duki continent, but in his past life, although he was famous, he had never been exposed to the art of refining medicine, so he really didn't know that he still had talent in this area. 5. Strange Techniques You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. I really doubt if you're human. Do you know what an alchemist really represents? Yao Lao couldn't help but say when he saw that Xiao Yan didn't show the surprise and shock he had imagined. Of course I know, but I remember that alchemists usually have to be taught hand in hand by experienced alchemists. Since you say you can make me an alchemist, then I believe you are also an alchemist. Xiao Yan tilted his head and asked. That's right. Yao Lao said arrogantly, you have decent qualifications. If I personally teach you, I believe it won't be long before you become a top alchemist. Oh, I wonder how many levels of alchemists you used to be, sir. Xiao Yan's expression moved, and he was indeed interested in the so dot called alchemy technique. How many grades? I don't remember, you just need to know. Even your so dot called Dan King Guha is nothing to me, Yao Lao waved his hand and casually said. For this, Xiao Yan did not doubt that this old man had soul power comparable to that of a fifth or sixth grade alchemist in his soul and body state. Therefore, he would only be even stronger before his death, probably at least at the seventh or even eighth grade level of an alchemist. In the eyes of that level of alchemist, the Sodot called Dan King could only be considered as an ant level. He he, if you want to learn the art of refining medicine, then you can apprentice, said Yao Lao, taking advantage of Xiao Yan's somewhat tempted expression. Master is here, please accept my disciple for a bow. Xiao Yan didn't have much resistance in his heart to the old medicine master's suggestion of worshipping his master. He knew some rules in the refining world, and without worshipping his master, it would be impossible for him to be fully taught. Moreover, this is just a title. If this old man really has any conspiracy, he doesn't mind being a master slayer again Yao Lao naturally didn't expect that this guy had just started his studies and his mind had already shifted to killing his master. Otherwise, he would definitely come and clean up the door. He looked at Xiao Yan, who had completed his apprenticeship ceremony, and nodded with satisfaction, even his tone became friendly. Since you have entered my sect, I naturally won't treat you unfairly. Did the teacher give me a meeting gift? That's natural. You should know that for a beginner, the level of cultivation is very important, and what I want to give you as a teacher is an extremely unique cultivation method, said the old medicine practitioner. Strange techniques. Can they be heavenly level techniques? Xiao Yan asked curiously. However, he didn't really care about these techniques, not to mention the high dot level techniques in his memory. Just the Xian level advanced techniques given to him by Sun Er were enough for him to use at the Douang level. However, if this guy could really come up with heavenly level techniques, it would not be difficult to guess the strength of Yao Lao before his death. 
Your current level cultivation method is cabbage. Yao Lao's mouth twitched and said. Oh, it's not a heavenly level, so forget it. Xiao Yan suddenly lost interest. It's not a heavenly level, and even if it's a heavenly level, it's a local level. Although in the Gama Empire, the earth-level martial arts are considered valuable but not marketable treasures, when it comes to Zhongzhou, although the earth-level martial arts are rare, they can still be found everywhere. You guy. Yao Lao shook his head with a hint of sadness and laughter. Don't worry, although my cultivation is not a heavenly-level cultivation, it is even more bizarre than the heavenly-level cultivation. In terms of value, even the heavenly level cultivation may not be comparable to it. A technique even more eerie than the heavenly rank. This statement actually aroused Xiao Yan's interest, what level? Yellow level low dot level. Is there anything special about this cultivation method? Xiao Yan frowned and asked. A scroll of low dot level Huangjia cultivation method was even more eerie than Tianjia in the mouth of the old medicine man. If it weren't for the old man's intention to play with him, then it should be something special about this cultivation method. You can see for yourself. Yao Lao flipped his palm and a black phantom scroll appeared in his hand. Xiao Yan hesitated for a moment, then reached out to take the black scroll. The scroll quickly turned into a light and flooded into Xiao Yan's mind. Then, a strange message emerged in Xiao Yan's mind. Xiao Yan immediately closed his eyes to receive this message. Soon, he opened his eyes, and a rare and shocking expression appeared in his eyes. Yao Lao did not deceive him. This set of martial arts can indeed be considered even more bizarre than the heavenly rank. At least, Xiao Yan in his previous life had not seen any martial arts that could evolve. Moreover, the most eerie aspect of this cultivation is that it evolves by devouring strange flames. The more devoured the fire, the better the quality of the fire, and the higher the level of evolution. You should know that under normal circumstances, a person can only have one type of abnormal fire inside their body. Although there are exceptions, for example, in his previous life, Xiao Yan not only refined the pure lotus demon fire, but also forcibly suppressed other types of abnormal fires with his strong strength. However, these were all things that could be achieved at the peak of the Doshin peak. However, this cultivation method can enable a person to control several types of abnormal fires at the same time with minimal strength. However, this cultivation method is also extremely dangerous. You should know that the strange fire is a rare thing in heaven and earth, which is extremely difficult to find. Moreover, devouring the strange fire is not insignificant. When Xiao Yan first devoured the pure lotus demon fire, he narrowly escaped death and almost lost his soul. Although the ordinary abnormal fire was far less powerful than the pure lotus demon fire, Xiao Yan today does not have the astonishing cultivation level of a demon anger saint in his previous life. From Xiao Yan's perspective, there is still a big problem with this cultivation method. Its starting point is only at the lower level of the yellow level, which can almost be considered the lowest level of cultivation. Moreover, this skill can only be practiced by fighters. If you don't start practicing this technique, such as a master of martial arts, you must dispel your fighting energy to practice it. However, if there is no background, people who practice this thing normally hardly have any conditions to tame the strange fire. However, how many people with backgrounds would idle to practice this deadly skill? And if you want to elevate this cultivation to the heavenly level, unless you directly devour the top four exotic fires, at least five exotic fires are needed to increase the heavenly level. But what force can produce five exotic fires in one go? Taking a step back, even if there are forces with five different types of fire, there would already be heavenly level martial arts, so there is no need for such a thing. This thing is indeed even more eerie than the heavenly stairs. Xiao Yan slowly opened his eyes, and a fiery color flashed through them. This set of martial arts was acquired by me by chance, and I call it Burning Judgment. Even with my knowledge, it can be considered the most eerie martial arts in the world. Whether or not to cultivate it depends on yourself. 
Yao Lao stared at Xiao Yan and said slowly. To be honest, only a madman can create this thing, and normal people would not choose to cultivate it. In the hopeful gaze of the old medicine practitioner, Xiao Yan pondered for a while before saying. But. Who makes me a lunatic? So I definitely need to cultivate this thing. 6. Black Inflammation You are listening at NovelFull.audio After determining that he wanted to cultivate this set of martial arts called the Burning Technique, Xiao Yan immediately closed his eyes and prepared to change his fighting spirit. The first time he changed his fighting spirit was not very long, and there was naturally no danger. However, just as Xiao Yan was following the path of the Burning Technique and running his fighting spirit, he suddenly noticed a hot wave coming from inside his body. What's going on? This sudden change almost caused Xiao Yan to suffer a backlash. Although he used his powerful soul power to sort out the almost chaotic fighting spirit, a trace of blood from the corner of his mouth proved his current state. Seeing this, the medicine elder from outside was also stunned for a moment. This burning was not so dangerous, was it? It's just the first time it's running, but surprisingly it spits out blood from the mouth. Xiao Yan took a deep breath and immediately mobilized his soul power to explore the situation inside his body. Under the crazy scanning of his soul power, he soon discovered a jet black flame burning silently at the position of his cyclone. When he saw this black flame, Xiao Yan couldn't help but feel a beat in his heart. This was the flame that had swept into his body at the last moment in his previous life. What he didn't expect was that this strange flame had also been reborn with him. Fortunately, after careful sensing, Xiao Yan found that this flame was not as powerful as it was in his previous life, and was also in its weakest period. However, even so, if this flame erupted within his body, his only fate would be to directly turn into ashes Xiao Yan doesn't like having a time bomb in his body that can explode at any time. He just didn't notice it before, but now that he has detected it, he naturally won't let it continue to ravage his body. This thing is also a flame, I don't know if we can let this so dot called burning decision evolve. With this thought in his heart, Xiao Yan immediately mobilized his fighting spirit to wrap the black flame around him. The next moment when the fighting spirit enveloped the black flame, the black flame seemed to sense that Xiao Yan's intention was for himself. The originally calm flame immediately erupted into a riot, and the fighting spirit enveloped in the black flame was quickly burned to the core. Seeing this scene, Xiao Yan quickly mobilized the fighting spirit inside the cyclone, continuously rushing towards the black flames. However, no matter how large his fighting spirit was, it would be burned into nothingness at the moment of contact with Black Yen. Over time, the fighting spirit inside Xiao Yan's cyclone also showed signs of exhaustion. Xiao Yan cursed inwardly. He knew that the drawbacks of Fenju were beginning to manifest, and only the low dot level Huang level Fenju could store very limited fighting energy. If he were practicing the Xian level technique now, he would definitely not experience exhaustion in such a short period of time. Since the energy inside his body is not enough, then use the external energy to make up for it. Xiao Yan immediately formed a cultivation fingerprint and began to absorb the external energy to supplement his fighting spirit. Anyway, this is always his home ground. No matter how strong the black flame is, it is still rootless water. As long as he perseveres, he will definitely be able to control this flame. The powerful energy of heaven and earth had not been refined yet. It was under the control of Xiao Yan that it came into direct contact with the black flame. Most of the energy of heaven and earth was burned into nothingness like others, but a very small part survived. Xiao Yan intended to mobilize these remaining energies to wrap the black flame together, but unexpectedly found that the surviving energy was incredibly pure. Can you say that? This thing inadvertently purified these energies for me. Xiao Yan thought carefully and understood what was going on. While this black flame was powerful, it had a huge amount of energy from heaven and earth, and in a weak state, it could not burn them all in one go. The energy that had not been burned was also refined by it, 
which made it so pure. After realizing this, Xiao Yan continued to absorb the energy of heaven and earth to compete with Black Yan, while on the other hand, he separated his mind and sent the pure fighting spirit refined by black flame into the cyclone. After absorbing this energy, Xiao Yan's strength also quietly increased Yao Lao was not clear about the situation inside Xiao Yan's body. He was just a little puzzled as to why it took so long for Xiao Yan to transform his fighting spirit. However, since he had not practiced burning Ju before, he was not clear about the specific situation of burning Ju. Therefore, he could only attribute this series of problems to the particularity of burning Ju itself. However, what Yao Lao didn't expect was that Xiao Yan's state lasted for a whole three days. This three-dot-day tug of war also ended in the failure of the Black Flame. After burning it continuously for three days, the power of the Black Flame gradually weakened. In the end, it could no longer escape the package of Duki. Taking this opportunity, Xiao Yan immediately activated Duki, driving this Black Flame to start running along the path of the burning technique. Yuyu reading www.yuyukangshu.net Despite being enveloped in fighting spirit, the temperature carried by black flame itself still made Xiao Yan feel a sharp pain that penetrated deep into his bone marrow. However, Xiao Yan, who had already tried various pains in his past life, was naturally not affected by it and instead accelerated the speed of his martial arts. With the operation of the martial arts, the fighting spirit inside Xiao Yan's body gradually merged with this black flame. The originally light yellow fighting spirit was transforming into a deep black color. As the final running route was completed, all the fighting spirit inside Xiao Yan's body was also transformed into black fighting spirit. Moreover, there seemed to be a faint flicker of black flames on top of it. At this moment, Xiao Yan's Doji Cyclone seemed to be enveloped by a group of black flames. The energy from heaven and earth was rapidly refined into black flame Duki when it entered the cyclone, flowing through Xiao Yan's meridians. This won't work. Yao Lao, who had been waiting outside for three days, frowned when he saw Xiao Yan still in his cultivation state. Just as he was about to forcefully interrupt Xiao Yan, Xiao Yan, who had been keeping his eyes tightly closed, slowly opened his eyes. A breath that was more than ten times stronger than before instantly emanated from his body. What exactly happened? After seeing Xiao Yan withdraw from his cultivation state, Yao Lao also breathed a sigh of relief. Then he quickly asked, he had never seen any martial arts that took three days to complete transformation. It was obvious that something had happened in Xiao Yan's body. Xiao Yan did not directly answer Yao Lao's words. He only saw his palm open, and a pitch black flame instantly emerged from his palm. The scorching temperature that rushed towards him made Yao Lao couldn't help but be stunned. He looked at the black flame in Xiao Yan's palm, and his heart was also filled with astonishment. Is this a strange fire? 7. Leave Yudin City. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Abnormal fire. No. After his initial surprise, Yao Lao quickly realized that apart from the mysterious first ranked abnormal fire on the abnormal fire list, he was familiar with all the other abnormal fires. Although there were also several black ones, they were all very different from the flame in front of him. Moreover, Yao Lao also felt some kind of frenzy that only Warcraft could experience on this flame. In other words, it should be a beast fire, but if it was only beast fire, why did it give him a feeling that was no weaker than that of a strange fire? Little one, where did your flame come from? Yao Lao couldn't help but ask. Well. I don't know, but when I was running the burning Jew, I found an extra flame in my body, so I tried to see if I could refine it and let the burning Jew evolve. Xiao Yan pretended to be confused but he couldn't tell this guy that this thing was brought from his past life, could he? Has your Funju evolved? Yao Lao continued to ask. Compared to the origin of this black inflammation, whether Funju really has the function of evolution is the most important thing. If Funju does not have the function of evolution, its value is at most equivalent to the Xuanjia cultivation method. 
Evolved, the current Fenju should be considered at a lower level of the Xian level, Xiao Yan smiled rare. Before he withdrew from his cultivation state, he sensed the current level of Fenju and confirmed that this so dot called Fenju indeed has evolutionary function. Although it is only at the lower level of the Xian level, the special nature of Fenju and its effects are actually almost the same as some intermediate cultivation methods of the Xian level. In this way, the biggest problem faced in the early stage of practicing Fenju is easily solved, at least until Dou Wang, he no longer needs to consider the problem of outdated cultivation methods. It seems that your black flame is really not easy, it can actually elevate Fenju to a whole level. Yao Lao sighed once again for Xiao Yan's black flame. From this point, it can also be seen that even if this black flame is not an abnormal fire, its power is probably almost the same as that of a true abnormal fire. At least, ordinary beast fires, even the highest level 9th level beast fires, cannot allow burning Ju to evolve by a whole level. Xiao Yan had no doubts about this point. He had experienced the power of this flame once in his past life. What Yao Lao didn't know was that the black flame Xiao Yan was showing now was only in his childhood. When Xiao Yan met it in his past life, its power was much stronger than it is now. If it grows up completely, even the peak period medicine experts would be shocked by its power. However, what surprised Xiao Yan the most was that his own strength had also improved a lot, and now he has even directly reached the level of a nine-star fighter. This kind of improvement, even Xiao Yan himself was a bit lackluster. You should know, he just broke through the Dou Master not long ago, and now he's almost the Dou Master. This almost leap over one level of improvement also made Xiao Yan feel uneasy. He quickly checked his body again and found that there was no phenomenon of weak fighting spirit or unstable foundation. Only then did he breathe a sigh of relief. If this small improvement caused foundation problems, it would be a bit more than worth the loss, it should be caused by those pure energies before. Xiao Yan thought carefully and understood the specific reason. When he was refining black flame before, he also absorbed a lot of pure energy extracted from black flame. Perhaps it was those pure energies that elevated himself to this level. What Xiao Yan didn't know was that those pure energies would indeed elevate Xiao Yan to a certain level, but at most they would only increase him by one or two stars. The reason why he was able to upgrade to a nine-star doja was actually the automatic upgrade effect brought by the burning and devouring flame. Moreover, the original level increase was not limited to these, but Xiao Yan's current strength is too weak. If the level is increased too much, it will have a negative impact on his body. Therefore, the remaining energy will temporarily lurk in Xiao Yan's body and only erupt and the appropriate opportunity arises. When he found that his body was fine, Xiao Yan immediately pushed the door open and headed straight to the kitchen. Jokingly, he had not eaten for three whole days. If he didn't eat anything again, he would probably starve to death. Now, he is not the demon angry saint of his past life, far from reaching the level of clearing the valley. That is to say, Xiao Yan has not yet developed, his mouth is too small, and conditions do not allow it. Otherwise, Xiao Yan could really perform a famous scene of, three mouths and one pig, on the spot. So when Xiao Yu, Xiao Yan's nominal cousin, came to the kitchen to look for him, she saw a thin figure holding a roast chicken, and beside him there was a hill piled up with bones of various kinds of meat. Seeing this, Xiao Yu couldn't help saying roast, shit, are you a starving ghost? It's you, what's wrong? Is there anything wrong? In just a few words, Xiao Yan solved the roast chicken in his hand. He held a big pig head while looking at his cousin, who had no blood relationship, and asked innocently. When it comes to the person with the worst relationship with him, it should be this so dot called cousin. It was clearly this guy who broke into the place where he practiced most often to take a shower, but found out that Xiao Yan even slandered him for sneaking a peek at someone taking a shower. If it had been in a previous life, Xiao Yan might have easily killed her. However, this girl is still from the Xiao family, and it's not easy to explain why she was killed. Therefore, 
Xiao Yan only gave her a small lesson and simply took away all her clothes. If it weren't for Sun Er passing by, that time would definitely have made Xiao Yu look very ugly. Since then, Xiao Yu has held a grudge against Xiao Yan and has been frequently seeking trouble with her brother. Thanks to her gift, Xiao Ning sat in a wheelchair at a young age. After experiencing this, Xiao Yu became even more angry and swore to give Xiao Yan a good look. Xiao Yan was also somewhat helpless about this. While expressing his amiable and forgiving personality, he also had a friendly conversation with Xiao Ning, who had finally gotten up from the wheelchair, giving this cousin a rare experience of being a mummy in the Duki continent. Afterwards, whenever Xiao Ning saw Xiao Yan, she trembled all over and even wanted to sever her sibling relationship with Xiao Yu, which made Xiao Yu calm down. What Xiao Ning didn't know was that his action unintentionally saved his little life. Because at that stage, Xiao Yan was already planning to tie up this big injustice and sell it to human traffickers to earn some extra income however, although Xiao Yu no longer came to provoke him, their relationship was still not very good, which is why Xiao Yan was surprised by Xiao Yu's initiative to find him. Ah. Uh. It's nothing, by the way, the clan chief asked you to come find him. Xiao Yu instinctively took a few steps back, for no other reason. Xiao Yan's gaze at her always gave her the illusion that this guy was going to devour her alive, and it was in a physical sense, got it. Xiao Yan nodded and then continued to engage in an intimate battle with Big Pig Head. Seeing this scene, Xiao Yu quickly withdrew from the kitchen. She felt that if she stayed any longer, this kid might have eaten her after being full of alcohol and food, Xiao Yan went to see his father. After seeing Xiao Yan, Xiao Zhan also put down the affairs he was handling and laughed and cursed, Stinky kid, where have you been these days? I went to seclusion, Xiao Yan replied. With your virtue, what do you mean by seclusion? Do you know what seclusion means? Xiao Zhan shook his head with some confusion, then gently touched the Na ring. A red scroll appeared in his hand. You're about to leave here soon, and I, as a father, don't have anything to give you. You can keep this. This is. Xiao Yan took the red scroll, opened it and took a look, then was surprised. Lion Mountain Crack. Not bad, I see that although you have broken through the Dou Ren, you haven't had many decent fighting skills yet. With your fighting spirit cultivation, you are qualified to practice the Huang Jia fighting skills of the Xiao family. However, if you go out to experience them, the Huang Jia fighting skills will be a bit insufficient. Xiao Zhan touched Xiao Yan's hair and smiled, during this time, you should hurry up and learn the Lion Mountain Crack. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. When you learn them, you can leave the Xiao family. Xiao Yan held the scroll in his hand, feeling a mix of emotions in his heart. He knew very well that the Lion Mountain Crack was the highest level combat skill of the Xiao family at present. Although it was only a lower level of the Xian level, it was the best resource that Xiao Zhan could provide. Even as a clan leader, he did not have the authority to impart it to others at will. Moreover, there are several elders in the clan who are still monitoring his position. Once others find out that he has privately passed on this fighting skill to Xiao Yan, they will inevitably criticize him for a while. Although it will not cause him to lose his position as clan leader, it also has a significant impact on his reputation. I know now, thank you father, Xiao Yan said slowly. To be fair, Xiao Yan admitted that he had no feelings for Xiao Zhan. Although he also knew that Xiao Zhan and his two brothers had treated him well, his past experiences made him hesitant to easily give up his true feelings. However, this time, there were some subtle emotions in his heart. In the following days, Xiao Yan also focused his mind and energy on practicing martial arts. In addition to the Lion Mountain Crack given by Xiao Zhan, the medicine elder also taught him a set of martial arts called the Eight Extremes Collapse. This is a close combat skill known for its powerful attack power, which is at the advanced level of the Xian level. If the fruit is trained to a great extent, it even has an attack power comparable to the earth-level martial arts, which is very pleasing to his taste. 
In addition, Xiao Yan also secretly practiced a combat technique called Explosive Steps, which he found after slaughtering a sect in a previous life. Because it was quite special, he also studied it for a while. However, at that time, he used only ground-level combat techniques, so he naturally looked down on this mysterious level combat technique and lost it. He never expected that it could still play some role now. Based on Xiao Yan's experience and expertise in reaching the pinnacle of the Holy Dou, it only took him a few days to master these two Xuanjie Dou skills. This progress surprised the old medicine practitioner. He thought it would take Xiao Yan at least one or two months to fully understand a Xuanjie Dou skill, but unexpectedly, Xiao Yan shortened this time by more than ten times. According to Yao Lao's estimation, although Xiao Yan has just broken through the nine star Dou master, with his advanced martial arts and the power of several Xian level Dou techniques, he is capable of competing with a three or four star Dou master. Without considering the eerie black fire situation, you should know that it is a presence comparable to the strange fire. If used in combat, how significant is the increase it brings? However, Yao Lao also missed one point, which is Xiao Yan's rich combat experience. As a demon fury saint who once intimidated the mainland, his combat experience is much stronger than during Yao Lao's heyday. The level of combat experience that affects the Dou Ren stage can be imagined to bring about an increase in combat experience. When Xiao Yan told Xiao Zhan that he had learned Lion Mountain Crack, he thought Xiao Yan was deceiving him. It wasn't until Xiao Yan played a move in front of him, Lion Mountain Crack, that he believed that his youngest son not only had outstanding talent in cultivation, but also had a unique advantage in combat skills. After returning the scroll of Lion Mountain Crack to Xiao Zhan, Xiao Yan returned to his room and collected all the materials he had prepared before into the ring. In addition to practicing those two sets of fighting skills these days, Xiao Yan also bought a set of martial arts techniques from the medicine master and auctioned them off. This ring and other items inside the ring were bought with the gold coins obtained from the auction. Yu Yu reading www.yuyukangshu.net After carefully putting the ring on his finger, Xiao Yan gently closed the door and walked out of the Xiao family. Little one, don't you plan to say goodbye to your sooner sister and Xiao Mei's cousin? Yao Lao's teasing voice echoed from Xiao Yan's heart. He had been staying with Xiao Yan for so long, and naturally knew that there were two little girls in the Xiao family who had a good relationship with Xiao Yan. Say goodbye to something, it's not that he won't come back, Xiao Yan said lightly. In fact, he deliberately avoided Xiao Sunner, so that she wouldn't cry again when she found out, and then cry and cling to him to not let him go Xiao Yan's departure did not disturb anyone, and even Xiao Zhan only learned about this news a few days after his departure. Xiao Zhan also felt a bit sad about this. He had long understood that with Xiao Yan's talent, this Yutan city could not bind his son, but he did not expect that this day would come so soon. Although this Wutan city is small, here, no matter what trouble Xiao Yan causes, Xiao Zhan can bear it for him. Although Xiao Yan is not the kind of person who likes to cause trouble, at least this Xiao family can still serve as a safe haven for him. Once he leaves the Xiao family, any further trouble will have to be borne by him apart from reluctance, Xiao Zhan also had some expectations in his heart. He always had a premonition that when his son returned to the Xiao family, his strength might surpass that of his father. At that time, perhaps it would be the true rise of the Xiao family. However, what Xiao Zhan didn't know was that in fact, his precious son had already gained the combat power to defeat him head dot on. Now, he was worried about another thing. That was how to comfort Sun Er, who was getting angry because Xiao Yan had left. This kid should leave now, leaving behind such a mess. 8. Cultivation of Warcraft Mountain Range You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio. In the Warcraft Mountains, a small open valley, a waterfall about 10 meters wide pours down from the peak, splashing countless water droplets. Under the waterfall, a young man who is only 10 years old is holding a black ruler that is slightly larger than his entire body, vigorously chopping the water flow in front of him. This is the fifth month after Xiao Yan left Wutan City. 
As early as three months ago, he successfully broke through the realm of Dosher. Now, he has reached the peak of the two-star Dosher realm, only one step away from the three-star Dosher. This is still because Yao Lao was worried that Xiao Yan's level up during the Dou phase would be too fast and leave behind Sequeli, so he stayed in the Dou phase for an additional period of time. Otherwise, he would have been a four-dot-star Dou master by now. In fact, after entering the Warcraft mountain range, Xiao Yan's cultivation speed slowed down a bit. It was not any other factor, but he divided a part of his time into practicing medicine refining techniques. After several months of training and under the guidance of the medicine master, Xiao Yan's medicine refining level can be said to have improved by leaps and bounds, even far exceeding the medicine master's expectations. In five months, he transformed from a beginner who had never been exposed to alchemy to a second-grade alchemist. Although Xiao Yan was still a second-grade alchemist, he had a high success rate in refining some third-grade pills. The old medicine practitioner even suspected that if his cultivation level was not enough, he could still refine fourth-grade pills this amazing progress speed, even the great master of refining medicine like Yao Lao couldn't help but feel shocked. You should know that even a few peerless geniuses in the medicine family spent a year learning to refine medicine from the first level to the second level, but Xiao Yan's speed was more than twice that of them. If it weren't for Xiao Yan's bewildered appearance when he first refined medicine, Ao Lao would have thought that Xiao Yan had learned the art of refining medicine a long time ago. And the most terrifying thing is that Xiao Yan is still young. He has not yet reached the age of 10, so with the cultivation talent he has shown at this time, how can he reach when he reaches adulthood? What about when he is 30 or 40 years old? Just thinking about it, Yao Lao felt a bit dazed. He felt like he was creating a myth, a myth that could overturn the cognition of the whole continent, and this myth was still created by himself. Xiao Yan didn't know what his cheap teacher was thinking. He was currently practicing his newly learned martial arts skills. Half a month ago, Yao Lao officially taught Xiao Yan a set of ground-level martial arts, so during this period, Xiao Yan devoted all his energy to practicing this martial arts. After half a month of cultivation, Xiao Yan has also achieved his desired level of cultivation in this fighting skill. It is not that he does not want to cultivate it to a great extent, but due to his own strength limitations, this fighting skill called the Flame Splitting Swallowing Wave Ruler can only be cultivated to this level at most at this stage. Only at the level of the Fighting King can the true power of the Earth level fighting skill be exerted. Bang! Accompanied by a sharp gust of wind, the water on the waterfall was cut off for a moment by this gust. Although it only took a second for the water to recover, for someone who is only a fighter, it is already great to be able to do this without any fighting spirit. Teacher, should I meet your training requirements now? After swinging the last foot, Xiao Yan also jumped off the wooden stakes of the waterfall and landed steadily on the ground, asking. What do you think? Yao Lao couldn't help but roll his eyes and threw a grilled fish over. This kid's cultivation level was so good that he couldn't even pick out any flaws. He could even be certain that if Xiao Yan were the king of Dou now, he would definitely be able to unleash the true power of the flame-splitting wave ruler. If it's just the Xian level combat skills, it's not a big deal. After all, although Xian level combat skills are somewhat difficult, there are always some people who are naturally gifted in this area and can quickly master these Xian level combat skills. However, the ground level combat skills are different. This is not something that can be quickly mastered just by talent. Xiao Yan took the grilled fish and was about to solve his lunch when he heard a strange sound coming from the entrance of the valley. However, the valley was extremely secluded, and some pungent medicinal powder was sprinkled around it. Warcraft usually wouldn't approach here. So who is this sound of footsteps? Xiao Yan instinctively grabbed the handle of the Xuanzhong ruler and looked towards the entrance of the valley, while the medicine elder immediately transformed into a stream of light and swept into Xiao Yan's ring. Then, at the entrance of the small valley, a somewhat disheveled figure in white appeared in front of Xiao Yan. That is a girl wearing white clothes, who appears to be one or two years older than Xiao Yan on the outside, 
but it may also be because the girl develops faster than the boy. Although her appearance may still be a bit youthful, she has already grown very cute, giving off a feeling of being a neighbor girl at first glance. But at this moment, the cute little face was filled with a panicked expression, because the chasing figure behind her was constantly approaching her. Listening to the roaring sound coming from behind, a hint of despair appeared on the girl's sweaty face. At that moment, she suddenly saw Xiao Yan sitting on a stone preparing to eat grilled fish. A hint of surprise flashed on his face, but when she saw that Xiao Yan was just a child younger than her, that surprise quickly disappeared. Because she knew that this child couldn't help him, and would only risk his life for nothing. As she heard the roar behind her getting closer and closer, the girl also bit her silver teeth. She didn't even bother to take a few breaths and shouted loudly in the direction where Xiao Yan was, Hey! The child over there! Hurry up and run! There are monsters rushing in outside! Upon hearing this, Xiao Yan couldn't help but feel a bit amused. This little girl is quite good, and even though her own life is almost gone, she still remembers to remind others. However, Xiao Yan had no intention of taking action. He was not a helpful person. Although she reminded herself, if it weren't for this guy, the Warcraft wouldn't have found him here. Of course, as a, free good boy, he wouldn't have done nothing. After this guy was eaten by the Warcraft, he would have avenged her. Just as Xiao Yan was about to enjoy a bloody scene with grilled fish, he suddenly felt that the girl's appearance seemed familiar to him. He frowned and quickly remembered the scenes from his past life. Finally, the scene froze on a pale-haired woman, so it was her. Heavenly Poison Girl 9. Heavenly Poison Girl You are listening at NovelFull.audio The name, Heavenly Poison Woman, is still unknown in the Dookie continent of this period, but in Xiao Yan's past life, it was a terrifying presence. She was unpredictable and ruthless, and once in a fit of anger, she bloodied a super-empire, whether it was a human or a beast. When Xiao Yan first traveled to the mainland and passed through the Cloud Empire, he had a brief encounter with this heavenly poison maiden. This heavenly poison maiden had reached the pinnacle of her poisonous cultivation, and even the existence of the Dozong level was extremely wary of her. Although the battle was neither side decisive nor short dot lived, this guy still left a deep impression on Xiao Yan's heart. When we met again later, this heavenly poison woman had already become a heavenly sovereign level figure in the soul hall, and Xiao Yan had also become a famous demon fury venerable in Zhongzhou at that time. Due to his hostile stance with the soul hall, it was inevitable that he would have to fight this heavenly poison woman several times, with each other having their own strengths and weaknesses. Due to their similar strength and the fact that they were both young people with rising reputations, some good people in Zhongzhou at that time referred to him as a pair of archenemies with this heavenly poison woman, and summarized their terrifying aspects with a simple sentence structure. When the poison woman passes by, everything is silent, demons and anger are present, and ghosts and monsters do not exist. Unfortunately, this pair of archenemies ultimately did not determine the winner, because the method of using the evil poison body from the soul hall to deal with the heavenly poison maiden was not perfect. Although it was suppressed for a while, it still erupted in the end. The poison gas that erupted after her death directly turned the area thousands of miles into a forbidden zone for no one to survive, indicating the terrifying nature of the evil poison body. What Xiao Yan did not expect was that this woman, who had been notorious in her past life, would appear in front of him in such an embarrassed manner. Perhaps due to running for too long and feeling a bit exhausted, or perhaps due to being distracted, as the little girl was about to be caught up by that monster, she tripped over a stone and almost fell to the ground. Before she could fall to the ground, Xiao Yan quickly approached her and reached out to pick her up. Then, with a gentle leap, he quickly dodged the terrifying attack that the monster should have landed on the girl. You. The little girl's face still had a look of shock and uncertainty. Before she could say anything, Xiao Yan gently placed her on the stone and then drew the weapon he named Zuanzanki, quickly charging towards the oncoming monster. Roar! 
Seeing that Xiao Yan dared to launch an attack on himself, the demon beast, whose prey had been taken away, also let out an angry roar and pounced again. In just a few breaths, two figures, one big and one small, collided fiercely in the field. The black ruler, with a fierce aura, directly hit the head of the monster, and its powerful force caused its body to be thrown out, landing heavily on the ground and splashing debris. Upon seeing this scene, the little girl instinctively opened her mouth wide. You should know that although the Warcraft was slow in speed, its power was extremely powerful, even among second-order Warcraft, it was considered outstanding. However, the little boy in front of her actually suppressed this Warcraft in terms of power. Is she dreaming? Is it the red flame demon bear? I happen to take you to test the cultivation results during this period. Xiao Yan just recognized the origin of this demon beast at a glance. This is a fire attribute Warcraft known for its strength. Although it is only a second level Warcraft, its brute force is enough to threaten the existence of the Big Dipper level. However, its speed is very slow, even worse than some first level Warcraft. Otherwise, it would not have chased this little girl for a period of time. At the same time, the red flame demon bear, which had been knocked away, also got up and stared at Xiao Yan holding a heavy ruler. It roared again. If it had intelligence, it could definitely sense the terrifying opponent from the previous blow. Unfortunately, as a second-order demon beast, it was still in the stage of acting solely on instinct. Therefore, it not only ran away without turning its head, but also planned to continue fighting with Xiao Yan. I saw a pair of giant palms of the red flame demon bear slamming heavily on the ground, with all its hair shining red. Then, the scorching energy curled up in front of it, finally condensing into a huge energy fireball that fiercely bombarded Xiao Yan. This was the red flame demon bear's innate skill, which was no less powerful than a five. Star Fighter's Full Force Strike Faced with the fireball, which was larger than his entire body size, Xiao Yin sneered. He held a heavy ruler in his hand and swung forward with force, directly crushing the large fireball condensed by the red flame demon bear. The flame spread out in all directions and quickly dissipated in the wind. After defeating the fireball of the red flame demon bear, Xiao Yan's palm also lightly grasped it. Suddenly, a dark and eerie Duki gauze garment emerged, enveloping his body. On the surface of this Duki gauze garment, Yu Yu could vaguely see strands of black flames burning brightly, looking quite eerie. Is this Duki Shai? The little girl next to her was even more shocked. You should know, Duki Shai is a symbol of a dosher powerhouse. In those mercenary groups, it can be said to be an absolute senior. This guy doesn't seem to be as old as himself, but he is already a dosher. This time, even the red flame demon bear felt a bit scared, but its fear was not due to the Duki Shai on Xiao Yan's body. With its intelligence, it was not enough to understand what Duki Shai was. Even if it understood, with its own strength, there was no need to be afraid. However, although it doesn't know what the Duki gauze garment is, it can feel that the black flames attached to it are extremely terrifying. This fear, originating from the bloodline, directly overwhelms the bloodthirsty instinct, causing it to instinctively retreat. It's a bit too late to think of running now, isn't it? Xiao Yan couldn't help but sneer when he saw that the red flame demon bear wanted to run away. He stomped heavily on the ground, accompanied by a low muffled sound. His figure quickly bounced out, and in an instant, he surpassed this bulky second-order demon beast. Before the red flame demon bear could react, the thick giant ruler fanned it out again. Then, Xiao Yan unleashed his explosive step again and quickly caught up with the figure of the red flame demon bear flying backwards. His giant ruler had already been retracted during this process, but his speed had actually increased significantly. He clenched his fists tightly, carrying a force even more ferocious than the previous ruler, and slammed heavily on the chest of the red flame demon bear. The terrifying force directly caused their chests to collapse, and then a dark force erupted inside the demon bear's body, completely destroying the life of this second-order demon beast. 
10. Little Doctor Immortal. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Under the powerful attack of the Eight Extremes Collapse, this red flame demon bear finally fell to the ground unwillingly. It never expected that it would die so easily in the hands of a human-like child with its own strength. Have all human cubs become so strong these days? After killing the red flame demon bear, Xiao Yan also took out a dagger and cut open the red flame demon bear's head. He originally wanted to see if there was a magic core inside the monster's body, but a red light came towards him. Then, a red flame rose from the red flame demon bear's body. Is there actually beast fire inside this guy's body? Seeing this scene, Xiao Yan couldn't help but be slightly stunned. Although there was no magic core, the rarity of beast fire was much rarer than that of magic core. After all, this thing can only appear in the body of fire attribute monsters, and the probability of its occurrence is extremely low. Don't be fooled by the fact that this is only the beast fire produced by second level Warcraft, if it were to be auctioned off, it would definitely attract many alchemists to purchase. However, for Xiao Yan, who already has black flame, it is not very attractive, and its level is too low. Even if it is consumed by burning, it cannot have the effect of evolution. Despite this, Xiao Yan still took out a jade bottle and put it away. Anyway, this thing is also a beast fire. Even if it is sold, it can be sold for a considerable price, and it may not be of any use. In his previous life, Xiao Yan once obtained a scroll called Nong Yan Ju, which could cultivate a unique flame called Hua Xinghua. Although it is not as good as abnormal flames, it is also much stronger than ordinary beast fires. However, if you want to cultivate the so dot called transformation of fire, you can use other flames as raw materials. Although the beast fire inside the red flame demon bear is weak, it is just right to cultivate this transformation of fire. After sealing the beast fire into a jade bottle, Xiao Yan took out another jade bottle and collected a bottle of blood from the red flame demon bear. Even the medicine elder in the ring was a bit puzzled by this move, but his disciple has always been very reliable. Since he did this, he must have his own deep meaning, so the medicine elder didn't ask much. After collecting the beast fire and blood, Xiao Yan turned around and looked at the white-clad girl who was still panting, asking, Are you okay? No. The girl in white finally recovered from her previous shock. She looked at Xiao Yan and said gratefully, that, thank you very much. It's just a gesture, don't be polite, Xiao Yan showed a seemingly friendly smile, then pointed to the grilled fish and said, I see you're also hungry. If you don't mind, come and eat together. Really? Thank you so much. The girl in white was so excited that she almost jumped up. She had been chased by the red flame demon bear for so long, and she was already hungry. At this time, she didn't care about her appearance, so she quickly grabbed a grilled fish and ate it. Seeing her appearance, Xiao Yan couldn't help but sigh in his heart. He didn't expect that the notorious heavenly poison woman in the future would be a little white rabbit in the past. This guy's experience is too shallow. If he really wants to do something to her, the grilled fish just now would be enough to make her out. My name is Xiao Yan, what's your name? Xiao Yan also picked up a grilled fish and asked casually while eating. I don't have a name, but everyone calls me Xiao Yixian. You can also call me that, Xiao Yixian replied vaguely. There's no name. Xiao Yan raised his eyebrows slightly. The implication of this sentence is that he doesn't have parents, but this is also normal. After all, this kind of body constitution, known as the Ernan poison body, has been present since the mother was born. Although it won't happen as long as he doesn't come into contact with toxins after birth, during the maternal stage, those toxins have already invaded the mother's body at a fast pace, and as the father who has the most contact with his mother, he naturally won't be spared. Therefore, in a sense, the calamity and poison body can also be considered synonymous with the celestial evil and solitary star. As long as a person with this physique is born, that family is destined to be tragic. 
Of course, Xiao Yan did not sympathize much with the holder of the Ernan poison body. What he was thinking now was how to find a way to deceive the future heavenly poison woman to his side. The name Xiao Yixian is quite nice, it looks quite suitable for you. Who gave you this name? Xiao Yan continued with a cliché. Because I am a doctor and have saved many people, that's why they called me that. Doctor. I didn't expect you to be so powerful. Xiao Yan looked at the little doctor fairy, feeling a bit confused for a moment. From her face, he could vaguely see the shadow of the poisonous woman in the future. However, he never expected that the female demon head, who had poisoned thousands of miles in anger, would be a doctor who saved the world when he was young. Time was truly the most terrifying weapon in this world. Why are you looking at me like this? The little doctor couldn't help but remind Xiao Yan, looking at his lost expression. If you don't eat it again, the grilled fish will cool down. It's nothing, I'm just a little curious. Why is that monster chasing you? Xiao Yan regained his senses and casually found a topic, diverting the attention of the little medical fairy. I actually came out to pick herbs, and this time I was lucky enough to find a good medicinal herb. However, I didn't expect that Warcraft was also staring at that herb. When I went to pick it, it was just not there. When I finished picking, it came back, and then I was in tragedy. The little medical fairy said with a gloomy expression, obviously she didn't expect that she would only come out to pick herbs once and encounter such a bad thing. Did you come out alone to collect medicine? Xiao Yan frowned and asked. That's not true. Originally, there were a few guards accompanying me, but when they saw that Warcraft was so fierce, they left me alone and ran away. I see. Xiao Yan nodded slightly and then asked, seemingly unintentionally, what medicine did you pick? Can you let me see? Of course you can. Xiao Yixian took out a cloth and wiped the oil on his hands. Then, he took out a light yellow block-shaped crystal from the small bag hanging next to him and handed it to Xiao Yan. Here, that's this thing. Xiao Yan took the light yellow crystal, carefully examined it for a while, and then handed it back to the little medical fairy, saying, but it's just a yellow lotus essence. What kind of rare medicinal herb is it? You ignorant guy, this is not the yellow lotus spirit, but the blood lotus spirit. The little doctor exclaimed in anger. Blood lotus spirit. Xiao Yan blinked and put on a harmless expression, what is that? Blood lotus essence is a very rare medicinal herb. Although it looks very similar to yellow lotus essence, its price is several hundred times higher than that of yellow lotus essence. However, because it is born together with yellow lotus essence, few people can distinguish them. Speaking of this, the little medical fairy couldn't help but feel proud because she is one of the very few people who can distinguish blood lotus essence. Oh. So how can we distinguish it? Xiao Yan continued to ask. It's simple. Xiao Yixian leaned up to Xiao Yan and gently cut a hole on the light yellow block with his nails. I'll tell you, although this blood lotus spirit looks very similar to yellow lotus spirit, there are other holes inside. The yellow layer outside is just a disguise, and the real blood lotus spirit is actually hidden inside. As long as you cut open its surface, you can see a layer of blood color inside, which is the essence of blood lotus spirit. But you don't have any blood in here, do you? Xiao Yan stared at the yellow lotus essence in the little doctor's hand and said. How could it be? I've confirmed it before, said the little doctor, checking the Huanglian essence on his hand again. Look, isn't it just? Hey! Why aren't there any bloodstains left? She checked back and forth several times, but never found the previous bloodstain again. How could that be? I saw the blood color before. Could it be that you read it wrong? Xiao Yan glanced at the ring in his hand and asked calmly. How could it be? Little medical immortal still didn't want to believe it. You know, she was chased by that red flame demon bear for half a day for this blood lotus essence, and almost confessed her life here. 
However, in the end, she found that the rare medicinal herbs she had worked hard to save were just street vendors that could be seen everywhere she naturally wouldn't have thought that the culprit behind this incident was Xiao Yan sitting across from her, seemingly harmless to humans and animals. In this world, there are not only the little medical immortals who have studied medicinal herbs. Not to mention Xiao Yan's past life experience, it has only been a few months. The old medicine expert has taught him a lot about identifying medicinal herbs, so Xiao Yan recognized it as soon as he saw the blood lotus essence. When Xiao Yixian handed it to him, he quickly removed the package and replaced the real blood lotus essence with an ordinary yellow lotus essence. He then handed it back to Xiao Yixian. At this moment, the real blood lotus essence was lying quietly in Xiao Yan's ring, and the yellow lotus essence used to replace it was the leftover scraps from Xiao Yan's previous refining process. Due to Xiao Yan leaving an impression on Xiao Yixian that he didn't understand medicinal herbs in advance, and his technique was too quick, Xiao Yixian never expected that it was Xiao Yan who replaced the blood lotus essence in front of her, and even began to suspect that he had really been fooled by it before, which led to a big mistake. All right, all right, it's a blessing in disguise. Xiao Yan comforted Xiao Yixian when he saw his dejected expression. Although you made a mistake, you got to know me because of this Huang Yan Jing, which also proves that we still have some fate between us. That's right. But who is Sai Wang? Has he lost his horse? Little Dr. Xian asked strangely, not understanding the meaning behind Xiao Yan's words. Um. The meaning of a blessing in disguise is that. Xiao Yan then remembered that there was no such story in the Duki continent. He briefly recounted it. After listening to Xiao Yan's story, Xiao Yixian's mood also improved a bit. She looked at Xiao Yan's serious expression and smiled, saying, Xiao Yan, you are really kind. Upon hearing this, Xiao Yan was taken aback for a moment. It was the first time he had met someone who praised him so much, and this person was still a former enemy. In fact, in his past life, Xiao Yan didn't want to be a good person either. After all, he was still a human from the earth, but in that world, kindness was the least valuable thing in the world. Whether it's family members, teachers, friends, or even beautiful confidants, they all have ulterior motives and are ready to give him a fatal blow at any time. He can only survive by forcing himself to become ruthless and ruthless, and to grow into the demonic anger saint that everyone fears. This heavenly poison girl is probably the same, but now she is still a pure and kind little girl. Perhaps in her past life, she also grew into the extremely vicious female demon head after being injured all over her body. Have you finished eating? Let's go after finishing. After finishing the grilled fish in his hand, Xiao Yan looked at the hesitant expression on the face of the little doctor fairy and took the initiative to speak. Let's go. Where are we going? Of course I'll send you back. There are quite a few Warcraft beasts around here, and it's quite dangerous for you as a little girl to go out. Xiao Yan smiled and said, You said I'm a good person, don't you? Then I'll do it for the good. I'll send the Buddha to the west and send you back, so you won't be eaten by Warcraft halfway through, delicate and tender. I'm not that unlucky either, but thank you very much. The little medical fairy was a bit overjoyed when she heard that Xiao Yan was actually going to send her back. To be honest, she had just been chased by a demon beast for half a day, and now she still has lingering fear. If she really had to go out alone, she wouldn't dare. She was hesitant before, just worried about this and wanted to ask Xiao Yan for help, but their friendship was not deep. Yu Yu reading www.yuyukangshu.net didn't have much to offer to ask for help, so she looked hesitant and didn't expect Xiao Yan to take the initiative to speak up. If you really want to thank me, when you're at home, treat me to a meal. Xiao Yan patted the heavy ruler behind him and said, Follow me closely later, don't stay too far away, otherwise I won't be able to protect you either. Okay, said Xiao Yixian, but he was very reassured. Xiao Yan was a fighter and could easily kill a second-level monster with just a few strokes. With such a person guarding him, 
as long as he didn't encounter third level or higher level monsters, it was absolutely safe. By the way, why are you so powerful at such a young age? As he walked out of the small valley, the little medical fairy glanced at the body of the red flame demon bear on the ground and couldn't help but ask. Of course, it's about practicing hard. As Xiao Yan walked past the red flame demon bear, he casually waved it and put its body into the ring. Although it was dead, it could still be considered a food ingredient, so throwing it here would be a bit wasteful. What you're saying is really boring. Is there anyone who can work hard to cultivate like you and become a martial artist at just a few years old? said the little medical fairy in a somewhat speechless tone. Since you know it's not interesting, don't ask. These monsters have very sensitive hearing, maybe they will come towards us when they hear any movement here, Xiao Yan reminded. The little doctor fairy waved his hand and said, don't say that I don't seem to understand anything. Besides, how could my luck be so bad? Just a few steps out and I'll run into a warcraft. Roar. Before he could finish speaking, a blue giant wolf rushed out of the jungle. Seeing this scene, Xiao Yan also sighed and said, To be honest, have you been causing anything unclean lately? 